hello everyone main objective of this presentation is to learn about how to set up install and run open nos validation suite for sonic let me briefly explain first what is ix suite store and ix suite store module ix suite store is a web server that allow us to run professionally developed test suites against your device under test suites and scripts come prepackaged in bundle called ix suite store modules and today we are going to talk about one of ix suite store module which is open nos validation suite for sonic before we go into details of open nos validation suite for sonic let's prepare the test framework as i mentioned earlier to install test module we need to have ix suite store installed both ix suite store and ix suite store module can be downloaded from ixia support website the ixia website so you can go to download and updates and you will see ix suite store ix suite store and ix suite store test modules download the latest version if you have kvm you can download the qcow image if you have esxi you can download the ova image once you download the image we can go back and we can download our uh, test module so we're going to download uh, today open nos validation suite so you can click on download and it will download the suit store module once we downloaded the vm uh, i'm not going into details how to deploy the vm in this video once we have the vm deployed and powered up we're gonna get the ip of a vm open the browser type the vm ip and we will see some thing like this username password is admin admin so you will get this type of screen the vm which we deployed it comes with ix suite store already installed on it so now we have ix suite store up and running let's install the test module into our ix suite store server we need to create a new session once the session is started click on the settings and here we have a browse to install new module so here i have downloaded the latest test module click on open and it's going to take around three to four minutes to install the test module so once the installation is done you, we will see our test module listed under install modules now if we go to edit tab you will see your module on the left side let's put the license server license is mapped to chassis we need to install the license on the chassis itself once you add the license server you will see everything is green my chassis already has the license installed on it and you will see now we can see the content of the package so now we have our test module open nos validation suite for sonic is installed let's talk about this test suite first open nos validation suite for sonic is a ix suite store module which does a validation of nos sonic to determine the sonic readiness at a different levels the full test suite contains three individual test suites essential scale and operational essential package focused on the feature validation scale is focused on a system level validation and the operations package it's a suite which cover day two operations and the impact of these operation on the performance of the dot all the test scripts are written in python using the pytest framework the full test suite contains 46 pytest scripts which in total creates 160 test cases i'm not going into the each test case detail if you want to know what the test is doing what is the objective of a particular test we can get all the information from the help document if you see this more it will take you to the help document and there you can see all the information about the scale essential and operational suite essential suite it has around 29 test scripts which covers 94 tests in total scale has around 16 test scripts which have around 34 tests in total operation suite has only one test script which covers around 32 tests in total essential which i mentioned is is mainly focusing on the uh, uh, feature validations it required 
three duties to run the essential suit. For scale suit, we need two duties and for the operational suit, we need four duties. Each level of suit comes with its own license, which we can see from here. So now our test framework is ready. We have IX suit store up and running. We have installed the uh, open OS verification for Sonic test module. And we have a brief idea about the framework, what the test module is all about. Let's see what we need to do before we start the test. So that information is also available in the help document before you run the test case. Before we run the test case, what we need to do is we need to create a clean config file on all the duties which we're going to use. If we are using scale uh, suit, which need two duties, we need to put the clean config JSON on the both, both the duties. If we are using essential, then we need to put on three that duties as we need um, three duties in essential suit. And similarly on operational suit, where we need four duties, we, we are going to put all the uh, clean config JSON file on all four duties. The other thing which is uh, required is uh, to create a testbed file. The testbed file is where we'll put all hardware and topology connection info. Let's see first the topology we have for different test suits. I, I have copied all three topology diagram into one place. Based on these topology diagram, I have connected my devices in the lab. I have created another diagram where I have printed the connected interfaces names on both ends of the link so that it, it will be easy to understand. Let's start working on a sample YAML file to create our testbed file. To start with, customer can refer to a sample testbed YAML file. The link can be found within the help document of the test module. user can download this testbed yaml file sample testbed yaml file and i have already downloaded this file let's start working on that now the question is how to put this connection info which we are seeing in this diagram into the testbed yaml file i'm going to put my yaml file and the diagram side by side so it will be easy to understand so i have this information here detailed information about the interfaces which one is connected to what so we'll 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 take the sample file, we'll go to this dot one section and we'll see what we need to put. So we have what we did in the lab, my dot one, if you see in this gray box, we have four different colors of links. One is yellow, blue, red, and green, uh, which are connected to four different devices. Green is going towards dot four, red is for dot three, and blue is connection between dot one and dot two, and the yellow one is connected to Ixia. So let's put the, this information into dot one section. So as we know, dot one is connected to dot two, the blue ones. Dot one is connected to dot three, which is the red one. Green one is connected to dot four, and yellow one is Ixia. So we'll go to dot two. All the blue in links will gonna put in the connected to dot two section. So we'll see the blue interfaces are six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So we'll put six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, and 20. Now let's go to dot 3. Dot 3 is the red section. So Ethernet 21 and 23 is connected to dot 3. So we can put Ethernet 21 and 23. What connection are going out from dot 1 to dot 4 is the green one, which is 26 and 28. Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 4, the yellow links from dot 1 going towards Ixia. So we'll put that information in. XR section. So we have the dot one configuration updated properly here. Similarly, we can do it for dot two also and three. Let's do it for dot four. If we see the diagram here, there are only four links which is connected on duty four, the two green and two red ones. The green one is going towards dot one and red one is going towards dot four. That means dot four is only connected to dot one and dot two. So dot one is the green links, which are ethernet zero and e ethernet one. So we'll put that information here, ethernet zero and one. And red ones, ethernet 31 and 32 is connected to dot two. So we'll say connected to dot two, 31 and 32. This is how we put the connection info. Once we have updated the connection info, uh, there are some other configurational parameter user can, user can control from this testbed file. User can control Ixia side layer one setting from this file like RSFAC, auto nag, speed. User have an option to set the port speed here. Like if you 
customer has a 400 gig Aris one as and they want to run test on 200 gig they, they just need to put here 200 gig and it will test will handle the mode switch mode change on XCI side if we specify the speed here and then we have the other arguments cleanup by reboot and cleanup by CFG reload if by reboot is true what it will do is before the test start it will copy clean config to config db json and reboot the box if the other one is true the cleanup by reload what it will do is before it start the test it will copy clean config to config db json and reload the config instead of reboot the box once we have the test by dml file updated let's go back to our suit source session we'll click import we have created this file here we'll do open so we have this file uploaded we'll go back to our suit source session we'll do test file click on this one and we'll say start test so so see this one is checking the license on the chassis now it started the test you will see the brief step information here for detailed log information you can go to this result page the top row will be the last run or the current run in progress you can see the total number of scripts in that essential suit only which i have selected 94 pending it's still running one starting the test let's go to the previous ran results so once the result is uh, run is finished user can download the full lo log from here it creates a run report also so we'll open the run report you will see the test case name duration pass fail and then if we see want to see the full script log why the test fail you have the link to the test log you can go here here is a detailed log in the in the GUI you will only see the step information like what step it's doing but if we want to go for the detail information you can so this is a step which we are seeing in the GUI but what exactly it's doing behind the scene you will see the all the log and detail what command we are sending towards the uh, duty and all those things so you can see all that information here let's see if it's it's still doing something right now so till now whatever we have seen and i was doing from GUI like uh, creating a playlist uh, setting up a license server installing a module um, downloading the log creating the yaml file importing the yaml file uh, all that thing we can do through the rest api so we have a api available where we can automate everything which we have seen uh, and which i was doing from the gui and what we support till today we support Novus, 10 gig, 100 gig, USD, and Aris one family also. That thing is not updated yet. And we support VM also. So all, all the details, if you go want to go into details um, about the whole test suits, uh, test cases details, you can get that information from here. And for the rest API, if you are more towards the automation you want to do everything from the uh, automated scripts like install run get results and all all kind of things uh, you can go to the if you see the top right corner you can see this um, book here and this will take you to the ix suit store guide and it has all that information how to do the rest api and all kind of stuff um, you you can get all that information from here i hope this video is helpful for you guys uh, that's it. Thank you so much.